Hello friends and welcome back to another travel vlog. I dug into the archives for this one. Two and a half years ago, I went to Wellington, New Zealand to visit my best friend who's living abroad. And I went over Thanksgiving break. I went for about two weeks. I also went to Auckland, so I'll link that vlog up above as well. But we had the best time. I really tried to embrace the local lifestyle experience as much as I could and just have a chill trip. So here are some of the highlights from that. Now, I didn't know this until I arrived in Wellington, but Wellington is a very, very windy city. You'll see in a lot of these clips, I'm freaking out because of the wind. One of my favorite things to do in any new city that I'm in is go to the farmer's market and talk to the locals, try new things, check out the fresh fruits and vegetables, and even the prepared foods. And at the Wellington farmer's market, I was actually able to pick up some of New Zealand's most prized export, Manuka honey. Having a little cheeky cold brew this Sunday morning. Delicious. hike up this hill I finally meet the botanical gardens I'm having my taiyaki it's like a matcha cream filled one just like I had in Japan and it's so good yeah I'm gonna go explore that way and see what I can find so I have made it to the Wellington Botanical Gardens it's on a hill, so it's a long walk from the downtown area, but there is a free cable car that takes you up to the top and takes you back, so I think I'll take that on the way back. the grounds here are huge absolutely massive so I had to kind of pick and choose what I want to see in the gardens today I think I'm gonna go see the rose garden and the herb garden so that's where I'm off to now
sun is so intense here, I'm never gonna get used to it. But the botanic gardens are free to enter, so that's amazing. And I think the visitor center is open from, I wanna say 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So you can access this throughout the day. And I think the cable car that goes up to the top of the hill runs until 10 p.m. at night, so. so much good food on this trip but one of my favorite spots was definitely Shepherd and they just have a very inventive menu featuring farm to table ingredients and flavors of New Zealand with a little bit of a twist the presentation was beautiful and the flavors were insane highly recommend memberships they have all kinds of great promotions and it's a great way to kind of unwind relax at the end of the day so there are 500 kgs of Epsom salts in this bath it's one part water to one part salt ratio so your body actually floats and your muscles completely and totally unravel so the idea is that you float in this bath for about an hour and all of your stress anxiety and soreness melts away so I'm going to disrobe shower and then hop in We are hiking to the wind tur turbine today. Can you tell I'm already huffing and puffing? it's because I do so it is actually Thanksgiving Day in honor of the Thanksgiving you know American tradition we're taking a walk before feasting so we're taking a hike up to this wind turbine that looks so so cool up close it's a lot bigger than I thought Our 
Thanksgiving duck here in Wellington, New Zealand. Doing things a little bit differently for Thanksgiving abroad. It smells amazing. Great work. Thank you. So we are at Westpac Stadium here in Wellington. Got myself a beer because we're gonna see a football game today and I'm so incredibly excited. One of the very last days of my trip, I booked a one day excursion to Martinborough to taste some wine and to check out Palliser, which is the southernmost point of the Northern Island of New Zealand. And as you can see, it was stunning even though it was raining. So we've made it to Cape Palliser. I'm now gonna walk up these 250 steps to the top of this hill where the lighthouse sits. This is definitely one of those walks that will be more terrifying on the way down than the way up. good. So we are tasting at Palliser Vineyards today in Martinborough. I'm in the vines right now. It's so interesting to taste somewhere besides, you know, Napa and Sonoma. This is a Sauvignon Blanc, so I better get back to the group so I can get my next pour. 